What's going on, fight fans? This is the MMA Encyclopedia. George Kennebrew here for MMAMayhemRadio.com. And I am standing here with the world-renowned, one of the most respected jiu-jitsu coaches in the entire world. Y'all know who this is. I don't even have to inter introduce this guy. This man needs no introduction. You see the logo, American Top Team Atlanta. This is the head honcho, the man over the whole thing, Juan Jacal Carnero. You, my, my brother thank you what's going on man you you know Chilling, man. hey you you the type of dude that don't waste no time yeah you man. you i i we, we, you i know you wanted to go in there and you wanted to get hoffman out of there man right. rear naked choke first yeah. round i mean i i, I think the mu i think the the music hadn't even went off and you choked him out right yeah, you you yeah. got somewhere to be man you gotta have it's automatic man oh <laughs> <laughs> i you see you know this all right yeah. yeah it's automatic man but just explain, so, um, you know, how it feels just to just to get back in the octagon and, and just just the feeling of just going out yeah. there, hearing the crowd and so, hitting the mat again. My last fight was one one year, seven months ago in Korea, you know, and and this time I was focused on, on my academy, my my training a lot of guys, mm -hmm. big food, Douglas Lima, you know, mm -hmm. and take care of my family as well. Right. But uh, a few months ago, I decided to come back to Octagon, man, and. Uh, Tonight I feel rusty, you know. I know I can do way better than mm -hmm. this, but I, you know, I'm I'm glad I finished to meet the guy, mm -hmm. and that's it, man. You know, like like I said, man. You know, that time I was off the cage. I was training a lot of guys, you know, UFC fighters and, and Bellator fighters, and uh, I know I can. Uh, I'm still got him, man. I'm mm -hmm. still have a, you know, fight in my blood, you know. Yeah, and always yeah. when I sparring, when I train, you know. Uh, my level is still there, you mm -hmm, know, why, mm -hmm. why I'm going to stop, you know, right, so right, right. that, 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 the, the, the flame get inside me, yeah. you know, keep me, you know, keep in talk to me like a goal, man, go, go, exactly. go, that's, right. I'm, I'm here, man, now, you know, I got a few offers to fight in November, mm -hmm. probably want to fight Dennis Hallman, oh. so I really want to fight Dennis Hallman, okay. and that's it, man, right now, I just want to, Chilling one day with my family, yeah, and then come back to training and training for Dennis Hallman. That's my goal right now. Yeah, because you you you've been you've had a busy schedule. Because I know a couple of days ago you just got finished cornering uh Rafael Asensio, who just came off of his win off of T.J. Dillashaw. It then is, you man. come all the way up here to Duluth and and fight at Wild Bills and win in devastating fashion. I mean, this is literally a homecoming for you. Right. So you knew the crowd was going to go yes, crazy. Yes. You knew it was going to be turned up. Now, so, I mean, just just explain just explain about how you're able to shift your mind from trainer to fighter cuz not a lot of guys can do that. It takes a special person to do that. It's it's I, I like like you said, man. It's crazy, man. Uh, I just got back in town yesterday. Mm. So I get I, I land uh, yes uh, yesterday in the morning, mm -hmm. lose my weight, get the scale, sleep, wake up today, warm it up at my gym by myself, wow. drive here by myself, fight, and now I'm gonna train a uh, big foot for his fight against uh, against uh, oh my god my mind. Mark Hunt, I believe. Mark right. Hunt, mm -hmm. yeah, and and uh, at the same time, I'm gonna train him. I'm gonna train to my fight with Dennis Hallman. So wow, but that's I'm gonna pick few guys. I'm not gonna train, you know. I'm still gonna teach my guys at my gym, you mm -hmm. know, here in ATT Atlanta, you right. know, my my headquarters. Yep. But uh, I want to I want to focus on, on my career right now, man. Right. That's my goal, you know. So. Well, I mean, I ain't really got to ask you what's next. You really just told me what's next is, yeah. is Dennis Hallman. you training Bigfoot. I mean, you know, you're traveling all over the world, man. Right. I, I mean, it seems like everybody wants to cow now. Yes. I mean, you're just in demand and, you know, for training guys and everything. Just, just explain one last thing. Just explain the feeling, just the respect that these guys like Douglas Lima and Diego Lima and Bigfoot, right. just this respect that they, they give you, man. Because, you know, we, you're, you're full of knowledge and you've been around the game a long time. And just to have these guys come up and respect you and be like, you know, Jacal, you right. know, that's my trainer, that's my coach, that's my mentor. Just tell me that, that feeling that you get from getting man, the respect one thing, from your one thing, one thing I, I'm, I'm really patient is, uh, is about uh, technology, yeah. like learn. Mm -hmm. You know, and learn new things, technology, you know, and that's my, you know, I never stop to learn and always I, whatever I go, for example, now in Brazil, I, 
I have a, I train with Palhares, you know, he got a, you know, this bad decision, in my opinion, we have seen it with him. Mm -hmm. And I roll with Daniel Serafian, he's a ultimate fighter too. Mm -hmm. um, who else, man? Damien Maia. Oh. So that's what I'm talking wow. about. I'm passionate to learn and give for my guys. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and exchange uh, uh, technique with my guys. Mm -hmm. You know, that's motivated me to keeping doing, keeping teach, keeping coach. Mm -hmm. And it, it's easy, man, when you train guys like Diego Lima, Douglas Lima, Rafael Assunção, mm -hmm. Bigfoot, yeah. you know, because they pick, you know, they, it's easy to, to work with mm -hmm. guys like that, mm -hmm. you know? So, but uh, one thing I, I, I always like, you know, I like to take the guy when nobody believe on him. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry to train Douglas when he fought uh, in uh, Sport X, it's long back the days, long time ago here in Atlanta. So mm -hmm. nobody, he was on the dog to the tournament, right. and he did it. And then he go to MFC, and he did it. And then he go to Bellator, he did it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's make me motivate. Right. You know, like Bigfoot as well. Nobody believed he could finish o over him. Yeah. And he did it. He did it. You know. Yeah. So Diego Lima, nobody believed he could finish this last guy uh, on uh, XFC. Right. He did it. Yeah. Nobody believed he could be in uh, the Ultimate Fighter, but uh, we believe it. Yeah. That's matter for us. That's all that matters. You know, and that's keep motivating me. You know, travel right. to learn. Right. You know, if you if you guys like, I think you know everything, mm. you should change your job because you always learn. That's you right. know, I'm always, every day I learn with my student at the gym. You know, right. when white belt, yellow belt, doesn't matter. You, he do some movie and you can watch and that movie you can improve and got bad techniques. Yeah. You know, that's, um, I'm addictive. Right. You know. Now one last thing, we know sure. UFC 166 is tomorrow. Right. Now we know your countryman, Junior Dos Santos, right. he's coming he, he's, he's coming back to reclaim that championship against Cain Velasquez. I have to ask the great Juan Jacal Carnero, who you got? Oh, Dos Santos, man. <laughs> all day, all night. Brazil! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, he's my, he's, I'm suspect to say, you know, but uh, he used to be my, my student back the day in Brazil. Oh! Yeah, so... Wow. He's a uh, third pro fight. He sleep at my house in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, man. you know, uh, wow. I give my bet to him. Mm. That's funny, man. I got a picture, I got everything. <laughs> so and he finished. It was on a, a tournament, two fights. In, he, he did it, and after that, I have my life, travel, you know. And he he got his way, but we still real good friends. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm suspect, man. I'm Dos Santos, by the way. You know, all day or night. Cool, you know. Is there anybody you want to thank before we get you out yeah, of here, man? I'm, I would love to thank you, all my students, all my family coming here tonight to support me, you know. I'm so glad that could hurt everybody, you know. When I was walking around the cage, every every side I watch, man, I saw somebody I know, you know. Oh, there's my student right there. Oh, there's my family right there. There's my team part, my team part right there. Mm -hmm. There's my manager right there. There's my partner right there, you know. Every time, every time when I watch the side, I saw guys I know, so that made me feel comfortable to fight here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad, and this is not going to be the last time I'm going to fight here in Atlanta. You know, so I like it, and I want to fight more and more and more. I really appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks there you for, have it, man. Thanks, everybody, for the coming tonight. You know, everywhere, I, I can feel the energy for everywhere in the world. People there in Rio de Janeiro, people you know, in Europe, everybody know me. You know, every, my friends around the world. You know, I really appreciate guys. I did that for all you guys. What can you say, man? The great Juan Jacal Carnell, respected by all, celebrated by by many. Jacal, right, once man. again, it's been a pleasure being right, in man. your presence, bro. Man, man, my high. That's what's yeah. up, guys. Take a look. Yes, sir. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter at MMA it Mayhem is. Radio, or we might have Jacal come what, and strangle you. They know what they're doing. Yes, sir. Know? And Take so does ATT. Yeah. Please believe. All right, man. All right.